Hey, hi, uh, this is Srinivas Tamara, founder of Nihilism.info. Uh, today I'm going to explain like how to deploy this Ionic project into a Google Firebase. Uh, that way you can host uh, an entire Ionic project into like, I think it's a free hosting. Like if you are doing for a college project or something, like this is very best option. Like, you know, long time back, uh, I think, uh, I posted an article like, you know, how to deploy your uh, Angular 2 project with uh, Firebase authentication. Uh, here I explained like how you can deploy into a Firebase. Uh, I'm going to like, if you want, you can do it. Like here is the link. If you access this link, you'll go here. So you can log in with your Google. So now I'm just going to create a, a project like Okay, I'm going to create a project called banana and and I just created that and uh, so now let's go to here. So we are going to deploy entire all these files into the uh, like you know in the firebase. Uh, so the first thing is like you know, yeah, for this you need to install the Firebase tools. Uh, this will give uh, uh, support to access, you know, Firebase hosting and all. So try to open your terminal and try to execute this. And it will take some time to install Firebase tools. I already installed these things. So now, so we are in the project called Ionic RESTful Authentication. You can uh, get this from the Git repository. Uh, so first you have to like, you know, in like log in with your uh, Google account. So try to execute this and it will prompt you to uh, a browser and it will ask you the single sign on for Google account. And once it got success, you will get this message like, you know, success login with your Gmail ID. So now we are going to initiate the Firebase. So this is what the main step now. So, so this is what the project. Now I'm going to execute the Firebase in it. It will it will initiate the Firebase uh, thing. So you'll get this. Now we are going to do the database and hosting. We have two options. But now I'm going to do for hosting. Try to click the space bar or arrows, and if you want, like disable the things or something. So. So like up and down arrow, I'm just selecting the hosting now. You can see this and try to click enter. So, and now it will prompt you which application you're going to deploy it. So just now we created like, you know, this is called banana. So using up and down, you can just choose the project a name like so. Yeah, so this is what like you want rules or something. You can just click enter and and this is the most important thing. Like if you're working for a React project or any Angular project, whatever it is, like you have to specify the public directory. If you see like when you, uh, yeah, uh, this is what our project like, you know, once this is what Ionic project for uh, this banana project we discussed many things about this like and this is what like once you uh, this is what the output files it will generate from the ionic like it will bind all the javascript files and it will create and uh, final things so here is our like public folder is www if you are working for a angular project it will be like a dist if you are using angular cli so I am now specifying www and it will ask you to uh, is this a single sign single page application yes of course and um, you want to overwrite it no because we are not going to overwrite it because we need our file so that's it like the firebase initialization has been set up like if you see the firebase thing has been configured here yeah so now you can just uh, uh, give like uh, Firebase and deploy. 
so you can use the latest one and uh, so it started uh, hosting it'll finally it'll give you the output url so uh, you can see this uh, this is what our uh, hosting url uh, yeah this is what the if you see that uh, entire application you can see it here like and if you see my project like uh, there is a, a provider auth service provider because instead of the local host i deployed entire api into here so because this is a hosting so so the same see if you see this url uh, if the project has been hosted uh, like mm, let me log in i think the password is different one yeah so this is what the project we developed last few days so um yeah done now so this url we need to connect with uh, if you have a domain uh custom domain so so right now i'm planning to deploy it like you know banana dot nine lessons dot info so i haven't set up this okay uh, let me connect this uh, with uh, with my custom so go to your uh, godaddy and uh, if you have a domain dns management like wherever you host you will get these things so basically if you go here and there is a settings icon uh, let's see the hosting thing and you will see the connect domain and if you want like we can give you our uh, uh, okay i'm just giving my project info and connect so it will give you the instructions like you know what kind of uh, dns settings you have to make so it's saying that you need to add a records for these things let me copy this and uh, I'm going to my DNS. I try to add a, a record and see if you see this is not working right now. And I'm going to add a oh, sorry, this is the host like banana and points to the IP and save. And the same way, I, I need to add a one more IP as well so copy and a record so save so i added uh, both of them and uh, let's see yes uh, dns settings has been uh, it'll take some time uh, usually it'll take some one hour to half an hour so once it got connected it'll it will like you know it will show you connected thing that in that time you can access it directly i'll show you uh, like once it got uh, status got changed yeah you have to wait for the status sometime it will connect like try to open it and refresh it keep refreshing it sometime the dns will looks like it got connected uh, let's see yep uh, it's got connected now and the same url now the same thing is working here let, let me open in the mobile view and i'll show you the login you can stream your ass and one two three four five six and you can see the data try to access this banana dot nine lesson dot info yeah uh, if you if you want to do any future changes like you can do it like uh, and 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 just use this command Firebase and deploy and you can see the output immediately and thanks